Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Today we're gonna to be playing with magnesium. So you can buy magnesium in these little blocks sold as an emergency fire starter, and it comes with a little flint on top. So how this works is you're supposed to shave off a little bit of magnesium into a pile and then hit it with the sparks from the flint. That should ignite your pile of magnesium, giving you a nice bright fire, even if it's wet and rainy outside. So I was wondering, instead of just shaving off a little bit of magnesium, what if we light the whole thing on fire and see what happens? Let's get started. All right, let's jump right into it and see if we can set this whole block of magnesium on fire. Oh crap. Wow, that's burning so hot and so bright it hurts my eyes to look at it, even with sunglasses on. Magnesium is notorious for being super bright and burning really hot. It's also notorious for being extremely difficult to put out once it's on fire. Let's see if we can put it out using dry ice, and that's just basically solidified carbon dioxide gas. That should put out a fire. Most fires need oxygen to burn, and dry ice stops fires from burning by just pushing the oxygen out of the way so the oxygen can't get to the fire. But with magnesium, it's a completely different ballgame. Magnesium will steal all the oxygen it needs directly from the carbon dioxide. So that was pretty cool. That worked way better than I thought it would. The magnesium bar was completely consumed by the, well, it completely burned away in the carbon dioxide. And here's a little bit of what's left. You can tell this is black, and this is from the carbon left over after the oxygen has been stolen from it. Well, I wanna try putting it out with water because I heard it makes a big explosion, but I'm all out of magnesium bars. Fortunately, I know a place where I can get a bunch for pretty cheap. I know some cars use magnesium parts, and I figured out that the radiator support in the 2004 Ford F-150 contains about 15 pounds of magnesium, so I went to the junkyard and I ripped one out. The part cost 50 bucks, but it would have cost $480 to buy the same amount of fire starters. Well, let's get back to the video. The carbon dioxide couldn't put out the burning magnesium, so I'm going to set even more magnesium on fire, and then we're going to spray water on it and see if that works. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you why it's a bad idea to spray water on a magnesium fire. So I guess if you're trying to put out a magnesium fire, spraying it with water isn't really the best idea. But if you're trying to create a cool slow motion video, it's a great idea and it ends up creating a cloud of sparks and smoke that looks like a nebula. That was pretty cool. I guess they weren't kidding when they said don't put water on a magnesium fire. Well, it's almost dark outside, so let's take a quick break and then I'll come back outside because I have one more cool thing to show you. While I was waiting for it to get dark outside, I took this time to set up my new Casper mattress. So the Casper mattress oh, is an obsessively engineered mattress that combines multiple supportive memory foams to create an award-winning sleep dog, surface at a shockingly fair price. With an average of 4.8 stars over 20,000 reviews on Amazon and Google, trust me, this is a comfortable mattress. There's free shipping and returns to the US and Canada. You can try the Casper mattress for 100 nights risk-free in your home, and if you don't love it, they'll pick it up and refund you everything. But wait, there's more! You can save 50 bucks towards a mattress purchase when you go to casper.com slash backyard and use the code backyard. That's casper.com slash backyard and use the code backyard. It's in my video description below. Terms and conditions apply. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's one more thing that I wanted to show you. The last thing I wanted to show you is just how bright this stuff is. It lights up my entire backyard super bright. <laughs> All right guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more Backyard Scientist, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and down below at my website, where you can submit a video and I'll feature it at the end of one of my videos. Ah! All right. It flew in there. I think I've inhaled enough of this for the day, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thursday and on.